hi there students welcome back again to another video lesson for grade 9 mathematics so na uh, natapos na nating i-discuss yung uh, six trigonometric ratios so in illustrate na natin and then as well as yung trigonometric ratios of special angles so for this week so connected pa rin yung ating lesson dun sa trigonometric ratios na yun and then yung special angles so for this uh, video lesson we will be discussing uh, angles of elevation. So, for our lesson objectives, first, we will be illustrating the angle of elevation. So, para mas maintindihan nyo kung ano yung angle of elevation na yan. So, dalawa po kasi yan, meron tayong angle of elevation and angle of depression. So, first, we will be discussing angle of elevation. And then, dun sa angle of depression, makikita nyo kung ano yung difference bet between these angles. Then after that, we will be solving word problems involving angles of elevation. Siyempre, real life problems ang ipapakita natin since we are talking about angles of elevation. So mas effective kasi siya na i-discuss kung real life uh, problems or real life objects ang ating ginagamit. And then, uh, we also need to solve for the missing sides and angles of a right triangle using angle of elevation. So, there are some problems na kailangan natin i-identify, i-solve yung missing sides. So, i-apply pa rin natin yung concepts nung uh, adjacent, uh, opposite, and then hypotenuse, yung sokatowa. And then, there are some problems also na kailangan natin uh, i-determine yung angle of Elevation. So let's have angle of elevation. So angle of elevation is the angle from the horizontal to the line of sight of the observer to the object above. Okay, so from the horizontal to the line of sight of the observer to, to the object above. So kapag elevation, so yung ating tinitignan is nasa itaas. Okay, yung line of sight ng observer tayo is nasa taas. Okay, so let's have an illustration para mas maintindihan nyo yung angle of elevation. So, ayan. So, dito po sa ating illustration, as you can see, ito yung mata ng observer. And then, halimbawa, ikaw nakatayo ka. So, kapag yung uh, tinitignan mo diretso, yung tinatawag na uh, horizontal line. So, meron tayong imaginary horizontal line. So, kumbaga, kapag nakatayo ka, pantay yung inyong uh, tingin. And then, kapag titignan natin yung object above, eto, yan, yung object na yan, nasa taas. So, syempre, uh, yung uh, uh, position ng mata natin is tataas siya kasi yung object nasa taas. And then, from the horizontal line, and then dun sa object na tinitignan natin sa taas, magpo-form yun siya ng tinatawag na angle of elevation. Okay, so yan lang po yung angle of elevation. So, meron tayong imaginary horizontal line, and then yung object is uh, nasa taas. Kaya nga, the line of sight of the observer to the object above. So, yan po yung angle of elevation. So, let's have problem number 1. So, the shadow cast by a tree is 32 meters when the angle of elevation is 38 degrees. How tall is the tree? Round up your answer to the nearest whole number. So, para mas maintindihan po natin yung, uh, yung concepts ng angles of elevation, so, isosolve natin yung mga problems na yan. So, dito po sa problem number 1, so, the shadow cast by a tree. So, shadow, ito po yung anino. Siyempre, nakas niya yung shadow na yon dahil sa araw. Okay, so, yung, yung haba ng anino niya is 32 meters. And then, yung angle of elevation na na-form is 38 degrees. Okay, sa pinaka-itaas, then sa pinaka-dulo ng shadow. Okay, so round up your answer to the nearest whole number. So, sa ating mga problem, so may mga naka-indicate na ganyan para alam natin kung paano natin i-express yung ating mga final answer. 
So, para mas maintindihan nyo, ma-visualize nyo kung anong problem natin, let's have an illustration. So, ito po yung ating illustration. Meron tayong puno dyan, ayan, and then, yung nakas na shadow niya is 32 meters. Ayan, ito po. Ito pong nasa ibaba. Ngayon yung kanyang shadow. And then, yung na-form na angle is 38 degrees. Ayan. Ito siya. 38 degrees. So, ito yung ating theta. And then, ang tanong natin dito na kailangan nating isolve is, gano kataas yung puno? Na dinedenote natin using y, yung variable y. So, dito, uh, i-apply pa rin natin yung trigonometric ratios. So, yung theta natin is 38 degrees, and then, yung opposite side nung angle na yon na 38 degrees, ang magsisilbing opposite side. Ayan. So, kung yun ang opposite side, ito namang uh, shadow length, yung length ng shadow, is ang magsisilbing adjacent. And then, itong tinuro sa arrow na yan, yun naman ang nagsisilbing hypotenuse. So, kung given ang opposite and then yung adjacent, anong uh, alin sa mga uh, anim ang gagamitin natin? So, opposite and adjacent. So, ang gagamitin po natin is tangent theta. Kasi, yung tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. Yung towa. So, katowa. So, ito siya. So, katowa. Ayan. Tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. So, yung theta natin dito is yung angle of elevation na given, which is 38 degrees. So, we'll have tangent 38 degrees is equal to opposite denoted by variable y over adjacent which is 32 meters. Okay. So, and then, ang next na gagawin natin is magko-cross multiply. So, ang tangent 38, ang kanyang denominator is 1. So, cross multiply magiging y is equal to 32 meters times tangent 38 degrees. And then, para makuha natin yung value ng tangent 38 degrees, we will be using a scientific calculator. So, yung 38 degrees, hindi naman po siya isa dun sa special angles. Yung 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45, 90. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan talaga natin gumamit ng calculator. So, 32 meters times the value of tangent 38 degrees. So, i-press natin sa calc u. So, tangent 38 degrees, we have uh, approximately 0.7813. Okay. And then, i-multiply natin yon sa 32 meters. So, kapag minultiply po natin yon ang lilitaw na sagot is 25.0016. So, since yung problem natin, nire-require niya tayo to, to express our answer to the nearest whole number, so, ang final answer natin is 25 meters. Sir, ano po yung 25 meters na yan? So, yan po yung height ng tree. So, kung gaano kataas yung 3. So, let's have problem number 2. So, John made a kite to ease his boredom during afternoon. The, the distance of the kite to the ground is about 919.25 meters. How long is the string used by John if the angle of elevation is 50 degrees? So, para, mas, para matanggal daw yung inip ni John, gumawa siya ng, uh, ng kite na papaliparin niya during afternoon, kapag mahangin, during windy day. So, the distance of the kite to the ground is about 919.25. So, yung, nasa taas yung kite, and then kung susukatin yung, yung distance from the kite to the ground, that is about 909.25 meters. And then, ang tinatanong natin dito is, 
gaano kahaba yung string, yung paling ginamit, kung yung angle of elevation na form is 50 degrees. So, para mas maintindihan nyo yung problem, let us have the illustration. So, ayan. So, ito yung ating uh, kite. Ayan, nasa taas. And then, yung uh, yung uh, distance ng kite to the ground is about 919.25 meters. Ito siya. Ayan, 919.25 meters. And then, yung na-form na angle of elevation is 50 degrees. Ayan, theta is equal to 50 degrees. And then, ang tinatanong dino, gano'n daw kahaba yung string na ginamit ni Jan? So, ito siya. Ito po. Ayan, kasi hawak ni Jan yung tali. So, yan po yung ating aalamin na nakadenote using variable s. Okay. So, yung theta natin, 50 degrees, yung opposite side niya, yung 919.25, ang magiging opposite side. And then, yung S naman, ito naman ang magsisilbing hypotenuse. Okay, yan po kasi ang hinahanap natin. Gano'n kahaba yung tali. Okay, so, kung given yung opposite, and then hinahanap natin hypotenuse, anong uh, function ang gagamitin natin? So, we'll be using sine. Kasi so, so that is sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So, yung theta natin is 50 degrees. So, sine 50 degrees is equal to uh, the measure of the opposite side that is 919.25 meters over hypotenuse. Okay. So, yung hypotenuse natin denoted by S. So, sulat lang natin ulit. 919.25 meters over S. And then, ang gagawin natin, uh, magko-cross multiply tayo. So, magiging uh, sine 50 degrees S is equal to 919.25 meters. And then, we'll be dividing both sides by sine 50 degrees. Ayan. So, magiging ganito siya. Sine ay S is equal to 919.25 meters over sine 50 degrees. So, yung value ng sine 50 degrees, so, press lang natin yung calc u. So, sine 50 degrees, that is equal to 0 0.7660. So, approximate lang po yan, ha? So, and then, i-divide natin yung 919.25 meters sa 0 0.7660. Or, pwede rin namang i-press nyo sa calc u, 919.25 divided by sine 50 degrees. And then, press equal. So, ang makukuha nating sagot is 1,000 199.995 or i-round up na natin para hindi tayo mahirapan to 1,200 meters so ibig sabihin yung string na ginamit ni John ang sukat nun is 1,200 meters so ganyan po kahaba so, for our last problem, number 3, so the XYZ building is 250 feet tall, cast a horizontal shadow of 140 feet long. What is the angle of elevation from the sun? Okay, so ayan po ang kanyang illustration. So, yung XYZ building, yung height niya is 250 feet. Ito siya. And then, yung shadow na nakas ng building na yon is 140 feet. Okay, so, ang inahanap natin dito is yung angle of elevation ng sun. Okay, so, ito siya yung theta. So, ito, kung ito ang theta, yung opposite side niya is 250 feet. 
and then yung 140 feet, ito naman yung magsisilbing adjacent side. So, ito yung opposite, ito naman yung adjacent. So, given yung opposite and adjacent, we will be using tangent theta. So, tangent theta, that is equal to opposite over adjacent. So, yung opposite natin, that is 250 feet over yung adjacent naman natin, 140 feet. So, tangent theta is equal to uh, 250 divided by 140. So, 250 divided by 140, that is equal, approximately equal to 1.7857. So, hindi po yan ang final answer natin kasi angle ang ating uh, dinedetermine, sinasolve. So, para po makuha yung angle of elevation, so, that is theta equals uh, tangent raised to negative 1. So, i-press lang natin sa calcu yung shift. After non, tan. Kapag na-press natin yon lilitaw po yung tangent raised to negative 1. So, ayan, times, uh, parenthesis, 1.78 and then kapag ka-press natin niyon ang lilitaw na sagot is 60.75 degrees so ibig sabihin yung angle of elevation na na-form ng shadow ng building is 60. 75 degrees. So, tandaan kapag angle of elevation ng ating uh, hinahanap, so ipapress natin sa calcul yung shape or yung kung wala yung shape second F ayan, second function. And then press natin kung ano man yung, trigon ano man yung uh, trigonometric function na nire-require. So, kadalasan kapag ganyan, ang laging ginagamit is tangent kasi given yung opposite and adjacent. So for our next video lesson, we will be solving problems involving angles of depression. So I hope naging clear yung ating discussion on, on angles of uh, elevation. So, for the next video lesson, makikita nyo kung aning difference between angles of elevation and angles of depression. So, so yun lang. Maraming salamat.